The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Uh, when I was in first grade in elementary school, I was in front of my house playing a handheld video game. Uh, it, was a, it was 35 years ago, so uh, we didn't have Nintendo Switch back then, but I had a little uh, electronic device that had a small L black and white LCD screen and a couple of buttons, and it would make beeping sound as I, as I played. It was, at that time, it was new, and I really enjoyed playing with it. One day, I was playing with it in front of my house, and these bullies just came out of nowhere and just snatched the game out of my hand and just took off with it. I was trying to figure out what happened because something like this has never happened in the six years of my life before. My favorite game, uh, it was my property, and it was just taken from me and I was so angry. Uh, the bullies that took the game from me, uh, they were bigger and they were many of them and I was just by myself, but it didn't matter. I went after them to get my game back, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get it back and my game was lost uh, for good. Uh, how would you feel if someone uh, snatched your brand new iPhone from your hand? Uh, how would you feel if someone uh, kind of went through your stuff and stole your wallet or your other valuables? What would be your response? Uh, wouldn't you feel angry? Wouldn't you feel this incredibly violated? Because someone just invaded your personal space and took what was rightfully yours. It's an injustice and you would do, if you can, you would do anything to uh, balance the scale. Why do we feel this way? It's because whatever that was taken belonged to us and it was sort of like a violation of our uh, property rights and you would feel that much anger. The higher the value, whether it's monetary value or, or uh, sentimental value, the more angry uh, you would feel. But day after day, we get something stolen from us that is much more valuable. John 10.10 10 says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, but Jesus came that we have an abundant life. As believers of Jesus Christ, we are given this thing called abundant life. Uh, Jesus, the light of the world, came into our darkness and shined His light upon us. We are given this incredible joy and peace, love and boldness and confidence and purpose, holiness, godliness, and it's much more. And however, the thief comes to us daily to snatch these wonderful things out of our hands. Uh, these things are rightfully ours. Joy is rightfully ours. Peace is rightfully ours. The purpose in life is rightfully ours. But my brothers and sisters, the thief often takes your God-given abundant life. The few years of our youth are very special for us. We get to dream big dreams. We have so much to look forward to. Uh, God can do wondrous things through our lives and it usually starts in our youth years. And the thief often snatches your youth out of your hand. Uh, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is that you don't know that it's been stolen from you. And because you don't know that it's been taken from you, you don't feel the injustice or indignation. And also the greatest deception is that uh, what was taken from you was replaced with cheap, instant, and temporarily satisfying stuff. We are given to vanity and sensuality, pleasure and love of money, and we are being deceived that these things will give us the abundant life. And it is the greatest lies told to us that we must wake up and reject. Next time you find yourself sad, disappointed, even depressed, or the next time you find yourself seeking pleasure uh, from sensuality or drenching your time and energy with YouTube videos and TikTok, I urge you to open your eyes and see that is how your enemy, our enemy Satan, is trying to snatch your youth out of your hand. And I want you to feel this heated indignation, righteous anger, because the thief is snatching away the abundant life Jesus gives us. The abundant life is yours to have, but every time you turn your eyes to these worldly things, you are being deceived and robbed. 
You were created to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. But instead, the world has deceived you think, to think that you will find a lasting joy in these stuff. The society and culture are lying to us, saying that what Jesus is giving us is not an abundant life. Rather, it's something that is oppressive and even boring. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. My brothers and sisters, I urge you to open your eyes today and pursue after this truth. The life Jesus gives us is an abundant life, but the life the world offers is the life that will lead us to destruction. God knows us and He knows what is the best for us. He is the one who gives us purpose in life. God does have good plans for your youth. It's time to reclaim that joy and peace and love and purpose and boldness in your life. It's time to reclaim the abundant life that Jesus gives you. It's time to reclaim the God-given youth. So next time you feel sad, know that the enemy is robbing joy out of your hand and replacing them with sadness. Next time you see yourself falling into the same routine of sins, know that the enemy is robbing you of the true satisfaction you can experience in Jesus. Next time you're overwhelmed by fear and anxiety, know that the enemy is robbing you of the peace you can have in Jesus. Uh, if I, at that time when my game was stolen, if I was with my dad, then the, then the bullies would not have even attempted to steal my game. But it was stolen because I was by myself. If you continue to walk with Jesus, then the enemy would not even dare to come near to you and steal this abundant life from you. Immerse yourself in Jesus. Read the Bible or, or Bible-saturated books do more than just a few second uh, prayer, like before you eat or you go to sleep. You have not dug deep enough in your relationship with Jesus to know how satisfying it is to be with Him daily. When you cling to Jesus, not only you will experience the abundant life, but the enemy will not dare snatch it out of your hand.